can see it's going up, not down. I don't know. They got a leak. Where is this leak from? Uh, Wisconsin.
Hoover Dam's control of the Colorado River also made the construction of other dams downstream possible. 67 miles below Hoover Dam is Davis Dam, an earth and rock built structure. Construction of this reclamation project was required by a treaty with Mexico to regulate the delivery of water to that country. It offers opportunities for boating, fishing, and other water sports. Parker Dam, 88 miles below Davis Dam, was constructed by the Bureau of Reclamation with funds advanced by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. Lake Havasu, behind Parker Dam, provides a four-bay and desilting basin for the district's Colorado River Aqueduct, which delivers Colorado River water to the Los Angeles and San Diego metropolitan areas. Parker Dam also generates nearly 500 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually, much of which is used for pumping water along the aqueduct through the mountains to the coast. Water for the Central Arizona Project is also pumped out of Lake Havasu. This water flows southeastward via aqueduct to cities, farms, and industries in the Phoenix and Tucson areas. Fifteen miles below Parker Dam is Headgate Rock Dam. Built by the Bureau of Indian Affairs, Headgate Rock Dam diverts water to land on the Colorado River Indian Reservation near the town of Parker, Arizona. Palo Verde Diversion Dam, 43 miles below Headgate Rock Dam, diverts water to lands of the Palo Verde Valley, the oldest irrigation development on the Colorado River. The valley was settled in the late 1800s by Thomas H. Blythe, for whom the city of Blythe, California, was named. 88 miles below the Palo Verde Diversion Dam is Senator Wash Dam and Regulating Reservoir, an off-stream pump storage development on the California side of the Colorado River. It is designed to save water and improve deliveries to water users in the United States. And the early settlers had struggled so valiantly but unsuccessfully to do. On the east side of Imperial Dam, water is diverted through the Gila Canal to the Gila Project in Arizona. On the west side, water is diverted through the All-American Canal to the Imperial and Coachella Valleys in California. Part of the All-American Canal Diversion is for the Yuma Project in Arizona and California. The desilting works remove river silt that would otherwise fill up and clog the canals and irrigation ditches. Eight hydroelectric plants along the All-American Canal generate electric energy for use in the irrigated areas. In this simulated night scene, you see some of the areas supplied with power from Hoover Dam. More than one half of the electric energy generated at the Hoover Power Plant is marketed in Los Angeles and Southern California coastal areas. And so today, Hoover Dam stands like a mighty sentinel in Black Canyon, keeping guard over downstream regions. Flying calmly above the dam are the waters of Lake Mead, waters that once carried the threat of devastation, but which are now harnessed to serve mankind. Crossing mountains and deserts are columns of transmission line towers carrying 4 billion kilowatt hours of electric energy annually throughout the southwest. Downstream, far from the dam, the river flows gently, offering its waters to 1.8 million acres of land and more than 25 million persons for domestic and industrial uses. Sparkling reservoirs and controlled river flows provide hundreds of acres of fish and wildlife habitat and recreational venues. These enduring benefits are the true significance of the Boulder Canyon Project, which has transformed the Colorado River into a mighty resource, thereby enhancing the lives of all inhabitants of the Great Southwest.